Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to make a big Dutch pour with acrylic paint um, with a black background. So that's rather daring because then you also have the risk that everything just mixes into mud. Specifically as with the Dutch pour you blow it into each other so everything goes mixing anyways and with black that's of course a big risk. Also the background color is going to be relatively thin and so that's an additional risk factor. Also I have never done such a big one but uh, go big or go home right so if it turns out completely terrible then I just going to scrap it off but I hope you enjoy the ride. So there's the black then some turquoise purple and some real pink for contrast. There's a rest of little purplish metallics uh, and I added some tin color which is an effect color from Amsterdam acrylic so I'm really curious how this behaves in an acrylic pour. Then there's gold, silver, then this little pot is pure sparkle so I'm gonna just dot it on some locations and a tiny bit of white. Okay so let's give it a go.
Okay, so if you have seen Dutch pours before, one thing you know already, this is way too much paint. It should be way, way smaller line because you're going to blow it out anyway. So if I start blowing out, now it's going to be everywhere. I'm not going to have a lot of uh, black negative space. So I have to live with that, that it's more like a, yeah, it's more like a hair plier, hair, hair dryer blower painting because for me personally a dutch pour is not only that you pour the sides over the color and then um, pour, spread it out but also that you have some negative space left but i'm very curious how it's gonna look because uh, the colors together look very nice you saw that for some i only put some drops like uh, the glitter is only here and here and there while the blue is everywhere and such things and I added a little bit of white so I'm really really curious how it blows out. Okay, so on the first look it is uh, pretty, but for me the black background is just really, really difficult to handle. There was so much bright color in here and three quarter of it is gone. It's difficult to see eventually on camera, but there, there is a lot of nice.
Okay, so that's it. I hope you like it and enjoyed every tip and trick and what is good and what isn't so good. I'm really curious how it's going to dry. As an advice, always for a Dutch poor, have a look at the video that I made with instruction and why it's called like that, etc. But in general, make your paint a little bit thinner than you normally would. Put a thin base coat and use colors that don't necessarily go into mud together. Less is more in that case, even if I had uh, many, many different colors. Uh, after the air, air blower is done, use a bit to blow it out with a straw or just in general that you get some less harsh lines. And I think, yeah, no silicone. You see a lot of cells, so I'm going to still torch it. But that's because of density and air and all that. So again, I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to subscribe, etc. Click the bell, don't forget that. And I hope to see you back soon.